I'm Dan Ramey, Litter Media. I recently visited with five Chillicothe High School seniors working on special projects through the Chillicothe STEM program. It's all the brainchild of Josh Montgomery, Director of Technology for Chillicothe City Schools. You might remember Montgomery from the feature we did on his working replica of R2-D2. We'll be featuring each of these projects in a special series. But first, let's hear from Josh Montgomery to find out how this all got started. I think it's really fun to try to do big projects. So uh, last year we attempted an augmented reality sandbox and I used a student to help us with building that sandbox. And I thought this school year, wouldn't it be interesting what a full year long project would look like for all of my seniors. So instead of my seniors just fixing Chromebooks like they normally would have been doing, I brought them in my office and said, hey guys, what would you do if money wasn't an issue? What would you do if you could dream big? Build something, design something, program something, what would that look like? I gave all of them uh, a couple weeks to think of things, send me things, we kicked back projects. I didn't want to buy something for somebody that they would just assemble and be done with. I wanted a project that would be challenging and they'd have to make themselves. We settled on a uh, motion capture suit that we had one student build. We settled on a, uh, a solar panel cells. We bought the cells and the student built all the solar panels that's going to uh, charge one of our other projects, which is a farm robot. It actually farms a location. And then we have another project the students working on called a, uh, a weather station, which is a weather rock that records all this information uh, of the weather around it and so forth. And my big piece was, could I figure out what it would look like for a student to do a year long project? And what if they took ownership of it? This wasn't me telling them what to do. And one of the greatest challenges of doing something like that is that I have no idea how to get from this to the end. That's, that's this is their project. I'm, I'm literally, I'm no longer professor, student. It's, it's like a, it's a peer project. I'm coaching them, I'm, I'm guiding them, I'm helping them. If it was a project I told them to do, you don't have that nearly that kind of ownership. But if it was something they wanted to do, whatever it was, I was gonna help them get there. It's fun to watch them get excited. Uh, they'll, they'll text me videos of something working or they'll come grab me and we'll go look at something. And you know, one of, one of my jobs is to be excited with them, right? So to help them and to encourage them. And, and uh, I learned that they were committed. You know, some more than others, obviously. You know, uh, before today, we were going to do this recording. Uh, two of my students knew that they were going to be using the farm bot, and it was a software update on something. And so, one of my students stayed three hours after school just to work on the robot to make sure everything was working. You know, that's that's ownership. You know, I didn't have to tell them, "Hey, this is an assignment to do this." It was this is their project. This is their baby, and what they learned through that is um, invaluable. These seniors are going to graduate. What happens after that? So what we're going to be doing is building some white papers on the next group of people to either pick up those projects or to move those projects along. Like I told the students, uh, these aren't my projects. These are things that I'm helping you accomplish. So therefore, I need them to help the next group of people. Some of these projects aren't finished, fully done. So um, other students are going to need to pick those up and continue those projects or um, the other projects will be moved into the hands of the teachers to be able to utilize, such as the, the sandbox and the farm robot and the motion capture suit. I want other people to be utilizing those, not just my students that develop them. Let's, one of the key pieces of the projects were how could we utilize it in the school? So it doesn't just buy this because we want to buy it. How can we utilize it someplace else? Now keep an eye on our Litter Media YouTube channel for more features on these projects, and you can click on subscribe. That way you'll get notification whenever we upload a new video, and you won't miss a thing. I'm Dan Ramey. Thanks for watching Litter Media.